are suffering from a serious case of low sperm count. I mean, your chances of impregnating a woman without medical help is nearly non-existent. I mean, as low as one in a thousand or more attempts, and that can only be with a super highly fertile woman, like your fiancé here, who is more fertile than the average woman. Doctor, how is it cost? Well, um, let's just say your lifestyle, for instance, like a too much intake of alcoholic drinks, and then heat from wearing tight hugging underwears can cause that. I'm sorry, but I do not wear tight hugging pants and I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> Look at the bright side. Whenever you're ready to have kids, I can put you back on medication. No problem at all. Hey, can you believe the doctor said I've been shooting blank bullet all my life and I can't load up a chick? I don't know why you're killing yourself when you still have a hope. I won't be long, boy. Back soon, okay? Alright. Tomorrow's a Monday morning, aren't you going to work? Well, that's why we have coffee. If that doesn't work, whiskey is the best remedy for a hangover. Whatever, Frank. Get in drunk. Oh, sorry. Sounds like alcohol, depression. It makes you hate yourself afterwards. 
Alcohol is the least of my problems right now. What is it? Is it Kate? I hope she's not calling off the wedding. You know, I can go and talk to her on your behalf. You can't help me. You can't be too sure. you're drunk. I, I promise not to tell Ray about this because you're his best friend. Forget about me. Ray has failed to give you pleasure. Let me show you why the woman keep coming back. Ray, let's go. Would you let go of my hands now? So I can get a grip on yourself. Where's Frank? Thanks to that beast you call Frank. Where is he? Frank, come out here and face me! If you don't take it easy, you'll be mistaken for the beast. Thing that I'm doing right now. Huh? Let me give you free advice. Next time you take on someone of your own size, if you dare touch any of my kids, so help me God, you, your fiance, her family, and your family will all cease to exist. Now go home and comfort your girl. Because this is the only revenge you will ever get. Daddy, how could Frank do that to him? For God's sake, they are best of friends. Always hear both sides of the story before you lay blames, okay? Okay, Dad. Are you okay? <laughs> My throat hurts like hell. Okay, go and see Dr. Rick just to be sure that they are okay. Hmm? You'll be fine, huh? I'll never forgive you for this. Are you blaming me? You can. You took her away and left her in the care of a man you know too well is a demon. You are a collaborator in this evil act. I need to stop it. It's not fair to hurt someone else just to make yourself feel better. It's not Ray's fault. Oh, she's right. I'm to blame. It was an error of judgment on my part to trust him so completely. Oh, please, 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 please. Let's stop apportioning blames here, okay? Look, none of them imagined he could do this. That's why she stayed behind with him after Ray left. None of this talk is helping my mood right now. I prefer to stay here alone than listen to you both finding who to blame for the act of a madman. Why don't you hurt him? 
Let him feel the pains my sister is going through. That's the only thing that can release us of our pains. Or oh, aren't you man enough to do that? Look, I almost killed your sister this morning while seeking revenge. I nearly got shot by the father. That man is not to be trifled with. Frank has a fiance. Yes. He'll be an eye for an eye. Let him know how it feels. Ray, promise me you won't do anything stupid, please. If I were you, I would just walk away. Don't tell me you're still angry. But I can understand. To tell you the truth, I even hate myself for doing what I did. I've gone beyond hating you, Frank. And if you have any word of gratitude, pass it on to your father. He saved your life. You contemplated killing me? I contemplated cutting off your manhood. I contemplated ripping open your chest and plucking out your heart. I contemplated a thousand things with all of them ending in your painful death. I would have done them all without care what happens to me in the next. It's the love I have for Ruth that is still keeping you alive. <laughs> Ray, you smug my sister about. To me, we are even. No one lays a finger on my sister and lives to tell about it. But look, here we are. I'm here and I still want to buy you a drink, Ray. Batman, oh yeah, give me a drink. Ray, Ray. I want nothing to do with you. Just leave. Yeah. Look, whatever happened, happened last week. I'm sure your woman has been forgotten about it. Be a man. I know you have balls. Be a man and just forget about it, eh? Have you seen her lately? You've deformed her for life. The damage is permanent, you animal. If you ever insult me again, Ray. Go! What you just said. Who is your father? The same was some anger. You tell me, Frank. You see what I can do. I don't see the point of living anymore. That's dangerous thinking, baby. You're talking about death like it's a good friend. That's suicidal. I'm pregnant. What? Seed friend planted in me is growing. No, 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 I, I 
think you are mistaken. How could it be? It was just once. Denial will not make it go away. Everything is so clear. The morning sickness. My breasts have grown bigger and sensitive. The rush of saliva to my mouth the moment I smell something funny. Yeah, uh, um, the fear of getting pregnant could just push your imagination into hyperdrive. It's possible your mind is playing tricks on you, making you believe you're pregnant. I don't think you're pregnant. I am pregnant. I went through the same denial. So I had to buy a dozen of pregnancy test kits. All 12 were positive. I need you to find money as soon as possible so I can get rid of this pregnancy, okay? You have to take me to a good hospital so that I can abort it before my sister finds out. Because if she finds out, she's not going to make me go through the abortion. She thinks it's murder. But you know what? I really don't care. I just need to get rid of this damn baby before I just... This is insane. That is not a decision to make. Well, trust me. That's what will happen. Just... Give me a couple of days. Okay? I think you should stop playing with your food and start eating it. She's even going to throw up right now. I stay. She doesn't want us to know yet. She's been trying so hard to hide this. Pregnancy is not something she can hide forever. There's no need putting further pressure on her after all this. Don't worry. She'll tell us when she feels good and ready. <clears throat> Do you think you can fool me? Listen, I can't pretend to understand the humiliations and the pains of conceiving a child from the horrifying experience you're trying so hard to forget. Okay? But I also know that sharing your problems with your loved ones will help lessen the burdens on your shoulders. Okay? Just so you know, I am having an abortion. No way. Look, I know you're hurting, okay? But I won't allow you to commit the unforgivable sin of killing your own child. For Christ's sake, this is not my baby. This is cancer. <gasps> Do you think I'm going to carry this baby for another week? Let you know nine months? Hell no! I'll kill myself first. Come on, Ruth. The child is half yours. <sighs> Do you not know think they didn't ask to be conceived this way? 
so you don't have to take out your anger on it. Hey, 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 it is my body, my decision, so I am done talking about this. How do you want me? I'm just here to make peace over what I drink. I want you to leave before I lose my mind. You know, your anger and your passion just polishes your beauty to a high shine. Oh my god. I simply can't resist you. No, come on, don't be afraid of me. Hey. Don't flatter yourself. I am not afraid of you. No, you better put that knife down before you hurt yourself. <laughs> Look, I was drunk that night. And you know alcohol has a spirit of its own. Besides, your stunning beauty, the way you're close to me, doesn't just help matters. You can't blame me for anything. Drunk or not, any man capable of raping a woman is sick. It's like murder. I know no normal person commits murder. And this is what you have done. You have killed the good part of me. Stay away from us. Stay away from us, Frank. And forget we exist. We want nothing from you. Whoa, 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 ladies, take your time. Why are you acting as if I'm some demon? I just came here with noble intentions. I just came here to seek your forgiveness, that's it. Alright, fine. I can't deal with this sort of nonsense. If you want it like this, no problem. To hell with you. Help you. Hey, baby, it's all fixed. I got the money, and I found a very good doctor who can take care of everything. No, this is expensive though, but I think I can... Hey, what's wrong with you? You're not looking happy. He was here. Who was here? Frank. What did he want? He said... He brought a bottle of wine to celebrate. But my sister sent him away. I don't think I can take this anymore. Did it touch you again? That is it. It's all ended today. Where are you going? To pay you a little visit. No, oh, please don't. You're an angry man. He's a madman. Nothing good will come out of this. You know. That boy is beginning to think he's untouchable. I want to teach him that he's not. If I don't do it now, he might not know when to stop. Please forget it. If you take him on, you're also taking on his ruthless father. They have so much money and they're capable of doing anything with it. I've heard you. Promise me you will not talk to him about this again. Okay. Okay, it's not a promise for God's sake. I can't, I can't. What if he sees me and brings up the topic? I need to work up this anger. I'll be back in a minute, okay? <laughs>
perfect timing. Join us for lunch. I'm here with a word of warning to you and your father. And I want you to memorize every word. Remember when we were in school? I was the hit lord of the black man, brother. You never suffer any harassment because I protected you. You were untouchable because of me. Why can't you just get over this thing, bro? I want you to know that you are not untouchable. And if you and your family think you have enough money to make trouble, I have enough bloodthirsty animals of my own who can also wipe out your small family and your entire village when push comes to shove. You think I don't know you denounced cultism back in those days? Huh? After the bloodbath that followed Brickbox's death? You're a sibling like me and look at you. I think you're full of crap. If you ever go near my girl again, I'll kill you and I'll wait for the ball your father will throw my way. Do you get every word I just say? Who the hell do you think you are? Walking here throwing cheap empty threats. Make a move. Pay her another visit and see how cheap and empty her words are. Black Arrow Brotherhood are just a bunch of hungry, lazy campus boys who just go about initiating every campus doubt with a little change in their pockets to pay dues. Hey. Let's put it to the test. Pay my girl another visit. Get out of my house now! I will. If only you are sure me you pass my message to your father. Did you care what I just said? Sometimes happiness is a choice. 
you force it on yourself, even against your will. And at the end, you'll be better for it. Ray hasn't been here in the last two days. Maybe he's busy. I feel something has gone wrong. Have you tried reaching him on his phone? Yes. But his phone is off. The last time he was here, he was so angry about Frank attacking us. So he wanted to do something about it. You think he went to see Frank? Yeah. I'm sure of it. I feel something bad has happened. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah. You pleaded to see me. Um, yes, Frank. Thanks for coming. I just want you to understand that I've, that I get the whole point completely. You've uh, crossed me to the earth and I'm totally humbled. I just want my life back. <laughs> what are you talking about? You have your whole life ahead of you. From, I need to get out of here. Look at me. I'm on my knees. I need to get out of here, please. I'm begging you and your father. My father is only nipping a problem in the blood before it gets out of control. <laughs> you threaten the old man? I mean, you're brave! But I was only bluffing, you know that. Oh, come on, I mean, you had me convinced that. You put the fear of God in me, you know that. You were damaging the only family I have. Any man worth his son would fight to get back his life. For the sake of our friendship, Fran, I'm begging you, please, for the sake of our friendship, please. Help me get out of here, Fran. Ruth is pregnant! Ruth is pregnant! We pleaded in enough damage on us. Please have a heart, please. takes just once to get a girl pregnant. That was not possible. Why are you putting this on me? Huh? She's your girl. You've been sleeping with her every other day. Not for the past four months. And you took advantage of her at the wrong time. She was not safe. You know it's not me. I'm not capable. You know I'm not producing a full capacity to load up a woman and you know that. We both agreed not to defy ourselves after the day we got engaged and became good Christians. Don't get deceived by her innocent facades. She might have been better hoping behind your back. We spent every waking moment together. She will need a lot of time to herself to be seen another man. Besides, she was seriously fasting then. You know what, I'll, um, I'll talk to my father and get you on a couple of days. Thanks, man. Thanks very much.
said, Mom, it's a big, big lie. I don't believe this. Bree is not a thief. Someone is trying to set him up. What sort of crap is this? Believe it, honey. Bad guys are usually well-behaved gentlemen. He fooled all of us. How on earth can you believe this wicked lie? We're not talking about someone else here, but Ray! His humility and gentleness are just weapons since as now he uses to disarm people. Anita, how can you be this insensitive and wicked? I can't believe you just said that! Look, I think Anita is right. Okay, you should be very thankful that the truth is coming out now, right and later when you guys must have gotten married. You guys should think. Put on your thinking caps. If Ray was a thief, would he always be broke? We all know here that Ray is always on the street searching for a job. Are these known for their flashy, extravagant lifestyles? Only the stupid ones. Only the stupid ones. And we all know Ray. He is not stupid. Doctor, I've gotten someone pregnant. Oh. I thought you said that was impossible without medical help. Then I guess you have to be sure some gold digger is not trying to pass on someone else's pregnancy onto you. Do I look like that kind of fool? Any man can look a fool in the embrace of a crafty woman. Know that. There are no exceptions. I'm not here to learn about the deepest nature of women. I need answers. I need you to explain how I got a woman pregnant. I wonder why I didn't get a second opinion after your test proved that I had no respect for it. But perhaps your test wasn't so accurate after all. Don't insult me, sir. I mean, there are no room for error in medicine. I can assure you my test was 100% accurate. I mean, it is possible the lifestyle changes I suggested might have manifested some improvement. I haven't changed anything yet. I was hoping to do so after the wedding. Well, then it is possible this girl in question could be your flip side of the coin. I mean, the hyper fatal type. Like I told you, few women are so fatal that even a low sperm count as yours can have effect. I believe that might be what happened. Well, in that case, I don't need your expensive treatments anymore. There's no point in buying it. Wait a minute. There's no need for you to write decisions here. I mean, I suggest, um... Hi. Hi. You again? Please hear me out. I'm not here to blame my attitude on alcohol any longer. I've been a monster. Every night when I close my eyes to sleep, my evil deeds haunt me. I just don't feel right inside. I don't care whatever punishment you have for me, all I want is forgiveness. is your forgiveness and I'm not going to bother you ever again. Please. 
I will never give your conscience rest. Never. If not for giving you, send me to hell, then so be it. You've damaged our lives. And I know you set Ray up and sent him to jail. I set him up? What are you talking about? Why would I want to hurt Ray? What would be my motive for doing that? Tell me. I can bet with my life that Ray is innocent. He knows nothing about what he's being accused of. Well, that's the same thing I thought till I got my lawyer to defend him. And lo and behold, he confessed doing everything because of you. You're a liar! A big liar! Ray came to me for money for your abortion. I tried talking him out of it because of the dangers you'd be exposed to. He got angry and he said he was going to get the money by whatever means necessary. That guy was just desperate. He was desperate! Maybe he came for you for money, but he will never steal. Why? You want my forgiveness? You want me to forgive you? Then you'll have to do something for me. Please ask anything. I need to see him. I need to hear him confess that he stole. He will never deny it to me. If it is true, I'll forgive you. But if he's not guilty, I want you and your father to do everything within your power to set him free. I confess. I said as soon as my father makes up his mind, he has the ultimate order. Frank, read my lips. As soon as he makes his mind up. Frank!
Hi, how far are you going? I can give you a lift. I want nothing from you. Come on, give me a break, okay? If you say you're forgiving me, at least just sit inside the... Yes, we're forgiving you. But it doesn't mean I should hold your hand in friendship, does it? Come on. Please, just sit in the car and hear me out, okay? Let's hear it. Listen, I'm incurably in love with your sister. I want to write the book. I want to marry her. What's the thing you think that we need to say? Open the door! Open the damn door! Just hear me out, okay? You and your sister will be safe from the disgrace Ray has visited on your family name. I'll become none. There's no disgrace worse than that of getting involved with a man in love with more courts. You think I'm not aware you're getting married in two months? Martin has been called off. Wow. You were just a man. You said last. I can swear on my mother's grave. I confronted her with the truth last week and she actually stole my money. 138,000 Ghana cities. And she ran away with it. Listen. I love your sister, alright? And I've loved her for years. Mm. Oh, you think you're helping your case by holding me against my hand? Just, just think about it when you're coming, alright? You see it's the right way. You see that as well. Open the door. Tell me he wants Ruth's hand in marriage. What? <laughs> Frank, that's God's. Man, what is even wrong with that guy? That is not a strange thing. The strange thing is that I'm beginning to think it's a good idea. But the biggest problem, Ruth. How do I start convincing my sister to get married to her worst enemy? Oh, wait, wait. What are you trying to say? Is there something going on that you're not telling me? Frankly speaking, Anita, if I'm to speak my mind right now, I would say you're not thinking right or even considering such an idea. It would only be possible over Ruth's dead body, and you know it. That was my thinking at first. And what you're thinking now? Aisha, that's why I'm sharing my thoughts with you. Okay, I want us to be signed together. This is your worst idea ever. Please. I shall miss this man. Frank is desperately in love. He's been in love with Ruth for a very long time. He wants to right the wrong he committed against her by getting married to her. As annoying and abhorrent as it may seem, I still think it's a good idea. Fine. It's a good idea. But you know, I think it's madness. Where is your moral sense and fear of God? It's for both these reasons that I'm beginning to accept the idea. Okay, put your anger aside for a minute and think. My sister is a 30-year-old pregnant woman who has no job or home to call her own. Her fiancé is a condemned criminal. No man would ever want to have anything to do with her after all this scandal. Now tell me, do you see any bright future for her? Aside the fact that Frank is rich, he loves her. Real genuine love, I saw it in his eyes. If he gets married to her, her bastard child will have a father. And she'll have a bright future with her respect intact. Tell me, how else do we show good morals in the fear of God? I don't want her to remain unmarried like me. Or do you think she'll one day land a better man than Frank? 
Okay, oh. good luck to you as you share your good ideas with her, but please, do make me part of it. Um, I'm sure you are way out. Just think about it. And you want me to get married to him? I want you to let go of your head and think. It could be a disguise blessing. How much is he paying you to do this? Frank stabbed me in the heart. I didn't think my own sister would burn a twist in the night. You know, thanks for showing me how much you Clear your mind for a moment and think, okay? We are often trying to survive. We have nowhere to go or anyone to turn to should the landlord come knocking right now. You want to know if this is about money, right? Yes, it is. But the fact that he loves you is my first motivation. Ruth, your unborn baby will have a father and you will have a rich man as a husband. Think about it. I know it's hard, but please try. So interested about the money. Why don't please 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 Please, Please, Lando, 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 Landlord, please, landlord. 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 This case has been in court for nearly a year. Didn't they tell you? No, no, they are only begging now, please. They are, only, they are women, they are begging, please. Who may you be? I'm a close friend. Listen, if you want, I can write you a check right now so that we, you know, we can clear this. A thing. check? I have a stack of check this high in my car. Do you know what they made out of? Pure rubber. They bounce higher than a basketball. Besides, I don't want their money. I want them out of my house. What did they ever do to you? Eh? What did these ladies ever do? These nice ladies, what did they ever do to you? I am tired of single girls and women in my house. They defy my house with acts I don't even want to imagine. No, no, it's you. Frank, please, Frank, please do something. How much is the money? It's uh, 2000 for last year and this year. He wants everything. But sir, you know what? Let, you know, let, let's just go to the bank right now. Let's just go to the bank. You can leave your money here just in case you don't think that we come back with your money. So let's just go to the bank and ask him. Like, I don't need your money. Pack your yeah, this Please, now, landlord. Please, I beg you, settle this thing right now. Let your men stay here. Please. All right, please. please. Let me go with them. I am okay. Why are you looking at me that way? Wasn't I convincing enough? I just wanted to congratulate you. You were great. Have you ever considered a career in acting? That is flatly. Don't overdo it. I'm serious. What now? 
you're going to go back you're going to pull out your men and you're going to apologize for your actions right now no we'll hang around and kill some time to give the impression that we actually went to the bank do you think she's going to believe us hundred percent she saw the landlord the police and the court papers she's completely sold out things will work out frank trust me maybe not as fast as we wanted to but believe me she will be yours Are you going to be all right? Do I look like a baby to you? Of course you are a baby. My friend, come out for there. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay. What do you want? What I want? Please stop seeing me as an enemy. Please leave now. You're not welcome here. Ruth, the alcohol lowered my inhibitions and pushed me to act on my desire for you. I've always loved you. But I'm torn apart inside. My heart is filled with things that I want to say, but words fail me sometimes. My greatest need is to be your friend again. I want to make up for my cruelty to you. Let me just atone for my sins, please. If I had a gun, you'd have been long dead. But now I sleep at night without thinking of a million ways to make you die a painful death. The love of God is wonderful. It has cured me of the destructive poison that is hate. I forgive you. Thank you. Can we be friends again? You should be content with the fact that I don't feel like plucking out your eyes anymore. What do you want me to do now? I would have said, hand me your head on a plate. But in the spirit of forgiveness, that would have been out of the question. So just say that. You leave me alone. Okay. What about the child? Our child. Let me show you love. Let me show both of you love. Let me give you a home. Let me show both of you what life has to offer. The best things in life. Please, you will not regret this. You're not going to make any headways with your pressure. So I'll be glad if for once you respect my wish and just go away. To Ruth, your wedding invitation cards with Kate for next month is everywhere. What are you going to do about that, Frank? Simple. I will send new invitations with Ruth and I on it to all the invited guests. The wedding will still go as planned. Firstly, I won't watch you break it out. Secondly, you are managing the affairs of the company very well. And I wouldn't like any of my associates to think you are one big joke. Dad, shouldn't my happiness be what you should be thinking about instead of other people's opinions? Besides, Kate will be well taken care of. 
I won't let that happen. Hmm? I want that girl out of my house by tomorrow. Well, we can even move out now today if you give us the keys to the new house. New house? That house is going to be my wedding present for you and Kate. And I think that will be the right thing to do. Right thing to do in the eyes of women. Kate, come on, Dad. My happiness should be paramount to your heart at this moment. Frank, I can't take this nonsense anymore. I'm getting fed up with you. I think I should let you know that you're going to be a grandfather soon. What? Is that possible? Then I thought you said... Yeah, yeah, Dr. Will actually said they are women who are my exact opposite. That they can even take it in at the door of the heart. That's what we should be thinking about, not just arguing, alright? I think we should just even pop some champagne. It's good news. <laughs> Frank, Frank. Kate, your plans just got shattered. What plans? What are you talking about, Doctor? Your fiancé just found out that you are the one who is barren. What? Did you tell him? Because he just discovered his sperm count is fine, he's okay, and he's gotten a girl pregnant. Actually, he's even calling the wedding off. Oh my God. Doctor, look, I can tell you do of what we agreed on. Please, Doctor. I don't want your money anymore. Save the situation. Yes, you can. There is no situation to save you, woman. You know what can happen to me if the government finds us about this? I might lose my job, my license, I might even end up in jail. Please, I... Please, I need your money no more. Get out of my office and good luck to you. You know, if someone had told me that one day we will get married, I would have shot the person in the head. No, you cannot deny destiny. So baby, tell me, when are we moving to our new house? Um, today. <laughs> My stomach has started again. What? My stomach. I ate so much of that cake. Oh. You know what? Let me use. Yeah. <sighs> oh, man. I'll give you some uh, stomach. Yeah, come on. Go small. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. How is France? I heard a Lafaba rumor that you got married to raise women. Listen, I'm spending quality time with my wife and I need to leave right this minute. Perfect. I will sit here and wait for her so that she come and we can have the day in the open. I took a short trip to get our wedding accessories. Our wedding accessories. And you quickly framed your best friend up, put him in jail and marry his fiance, isn't it? What? Uh, no, I'm just watching Papa just go the way. Very hilarious couple, eh? I'll be right back. And I'm not going to waste my time. What do you want? What are you talking about? What do you know about Ruth and I? I keep tabs on you even when I'm away. What games are you playing? Oh, we both know you're playing games and I know the type of game you're playing. How much do you want? I'm trying so hard to make sense out of what you're saying. Well, let's just put it like this. You want to marry me not out of the sentiment of love, but of game, of money. 
Why? Mention your price right here, right now, so I pay you right this minute so that you can forget about me and you can forget about the wedding. So you think you can just dump me after sucking up my youth? And who do you leave the child for? Cut out this drama, cut out this crap. You know with money you can get another person. You can actually set a new target and walk free. Mention your price right now. How much? He gave me $50,000 to forget a marriage. A marriage into opulence. A marriage into millions. After I've dedicated all these years of my life to him. It's not possible. The doctor was wrong. He does not know anything about my barrenness. He was bewitched by the charm of those big sexy eyes of that calculating slot. It's even possible that she lured him into falling for her and the fool doesn't even know it. She's after his money too. I am not going to let you win this girl. And Frank, you are definitely not going to get away from me. I will beat her at her own game and take back my man. If she can be tricky, so can I. You are innocent? Look, I'm not trying to make a monster out of him. That is what he is. Frank is a monster! Everything has fallen into place for the monster. He's now married to your woman instead of me. I don't get you. It's not possible. I know Ruth very well. Ruth would rather take her life than to get married to that freak. You underestimate Frank's talent for manipulating people. He can break through barriers of steel with the greatest of ease, using his charm and his father's wealth as a weapon. Believe it, Ray, they are getting married. In fact, she's moved in into his house right now. Uh, oh, 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 okay, okay, aha, uh -huh. okay, now I know why you wanted me to confess the crime before her, please, you need to do everything you can to stop him, please, otherwise he will destroy that innocent girl's life, just like he is destroying mine. I intend to. He's played with people's lives far too long. Ray, I gotta leave. And you take care of yourself. Thank you. Story Frank must have cooked up to discredit me. Frankly, I don't have the strength to listen to the tales of the devil this morning. The only devil between us is Frank. You, Ray, and I are all his victims. Have a good day. Wait! I swear to you, I bet you no grudge. I just can't stand by watching him destroy our lives whilst I do nothing. He paid me off to forget about this whole marriage thing. Really? And you accepted the cash? I had no choice. It's impossible to win against Frank. I went to see Ray today and he asked me to let you know that he loves you so, so much. And that Frank got him out of the way so that he can have you because you're carrying his child. Frank told me that you were desperate. I didn't know you were this pathetic. Gracefully accept your defeat. I will bring you proof. That I promise. Have a good day.
Kendimi sağlık edin Peyiz. Kate was here today. What? She said you paid her off to forget about the marriage, and you also framed Ray up so that you could get me and the child that I'm carrying. I can't believe you believe that pitiful, desperate girl. Oh, listen, baby, she's just resentful of our happiness, all right? Every woman would have done the same thing. I mean, imagine if you're in her shoes, you would have done the same thing. She's just jealous you've taken away her man. Come on, don't worry, come, 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 come sit down, baby. Sit down, sit down. Baby, baby, sit down. You don't have to worry, okay? Huh? She ran home like that yesterday. Oh, honey bunny. Gucci, Gucci. Games I play with me. I thought we had a deal and I paid you off handsomely. What was the meaning of what you came to do in my house today? I went to see Ray in jail. Mm -hmm. And he begged me to let his woman know not the truth. And I could not deny our trouble friend of a tiny, a weeny, finny favor as well as that. She's my wife now. If you ever go close to her again, or talk to her again, I swear to God, what I did to her will be nothing compared to what I'll do to you. How could you? He loved you. That's the only true friend you've had since childhood. Only because he liked rolling with a big boy then. Now keep away from my wife or you'll be asking for trouble. And what will you do? You kill me? Well, let's just say killing you will be too easy. I'll get my horny friends to read. After which they'll rape you again, but this time, Stout battles, then I'll tie your ankles with stones and drop you in the middle of the ocean. Do you understand me? <laughs> you got me scared. <laughs> you know I'll do it and get away with it, just like I got away with doing Ray. Stay away from your wife. Listen to this. I thought we had a deal and I paid you off handsomely. What was the meaning of what you came to do in my house today? I went to see Ray in jail. Mm -hmm. And he begged me to let his woman know not the truth. She's my wife now. If you ever go close to her again or talk to her again, I swear to God what I did to her will be nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Now keep away from my wife or you'll be asking for trouble. Well, let's just say killing you will be too easy. I'll get my horny friends to rape you. After which they'll rape you again. But this time, with star battles. Then I'll tie your ankles with stones and drop you in the middle of the ocean. Do you understand me? <laughs> you know I'll do it and get away with it. Just like I got away with doing Ray. I owe it to you and Ray. Besides, there's no fairy tale ending with a man like Frank. Please. Where are you going? To get out of the house, of course. Don't even try. It will be a mistake. If he wants something, he gets it. If he doesn't, he destroys it so that no one else gets it. What do you mean? Burning your face with us and killing you are the easiest thing he could do if he rejects him. I was not exaggerating when I said Frank was the devil. So what do you suggest I do? Just think your next move through. I have loved him for years, but he dumped me for you. Do you know what he said? He said he knew I wanted to marry him only for his money. So he offered to pay me off so that I can go my own way. 
And I know what will happen to me if I refuse to accept the money or play stubborn. I have seen how Frank takes care of his oppositions. Has he killed anyone before? <laughs> he was dating a girl called Barbara. And caught him with another guy. A month after, hmm, the guy's body was found near a nightclub. He was gunned down. A month after that, Barbara vanished. Well, never to be seen again. When the police suspected foul play, his father waded in and the case died without a trace. His father is also the same way as Frank, and he's the only man that he fears. So sit down and think properly before you make any move. Thank you very much. You take care of yourself. Thanks. Anytime. What can I do for you? A brush. Are you here with your husband? I'm alone and I'm single. You need someone to sign. Sir, just charge me any amount, I'll pay. Okay, come with me, please. as if I killed the baby. If you find me dead one of these days, he'll be out of depression. I'm off to work. Have you taken a breakfast? She killed my appetite too. I'll see you. See you. Daddy, can I serve you a breakfast for you? <clears throat> Not now. I'll wait for a while. Okay. Rude. It's been three weeks now. You have to let it go. I know it's painful. Remaining sad won't do you any good. I can't seem to get myself out of the black mood. No matter how hard I try. That is because you are trying to go through it alone. The pain is not for you alone to bear. You have to let your husband also share in it. You know he's also suffering from the loss and you shutting him down. Huh? You both will heal faster if you share your joy and your pains together. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. No. Thank you. You came into this family and you brought love with you. You know, you give me more strength than he does.
Why have you been giving me the cold treatment lately? Listen, if you're spoiling for a fight, then I'm ready. Bring it on. I don't want to fight. We are supposed to be enjoying our honeymoon instead of spending each day in misery. Baby, why have you been so cold and mean to me lately? Is it because of the death of our child? Uh, is there something I did wrong? If something I did wrong, just tell me and I'll make a make for it right now. Don't pressure me for a start. Okay? you like a smelly thing just gradually choking me to death. I need time to myself without you hanging on my hair every single second. God, you just disgust me. What's going on here? You have to forgive him. You know, he can sometimes behave a little immature. That's the exact word I'm looking for. Immature. You know, I am so glad that someone around here understands what I'm going through. I sometimes wish I was married to you. No, 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 no. Well, I'm like your father now. And I'll be honored to solve any problem that comes your path. I'll be honored if you share your troubles with me. And I'll be very happy to provide solutions whenever possible. Okay? Everything will be fine. Okay. Like, please don't leave me. Why don't you just sit by me? Just, he just oh, irritates me, you know? Friend. I can't stand him. It's okay. Gosh, he is so immature. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Gosh. I don't know. It's okay, Rob. to give her the day off and cook myself. Well, well, well. If cooking is what is going to make you happy all the time, then I'm going to fire the cook. Oh, come on. Don't be silly. It has nothing to do with the cooking. Ah! Hey! Is this for you? You have no respect. Is that where you're supposed to sit? Who told you that's your food? Come on. Go and sit here. I didn't serve this for you. This is the way I serve you. Come on, come and sit here. Taste the chicken first, it's really, really good. I could see we are in a happy mood today. Oh, yes, we are. Mm. I thought it was something I did. I guess the guy is wrong. Son, predicting a woman's heart is a game no man has ever mastered. Mm -hmm. Strange behavior, son. Oh, um, <clears throat> I was just wondering why you're not at work today. In fact, you've not been at work for the past four days. I needed a rest. No, but it's unlike you to take a day's rest off, let alone four days. Well, it's my company. I can decide to do whatever I choose. Besides, you are doing a great job by managing affairs over there. I think I deserve a rest. You have a problem with that? No, no, no. I don't have a problem with that. Well, the problem I have is the fact that both of you stopped your teenage love giggle the moment I entered. And I wonder why. Don't flatter yourself, Frank. You're not so important for us to gossip about you. Well, I'm not saying you're gossiping. All I'm saying is that I just wanted a piece of the action, you know? The laughter. Can't I have a piece after a long day's work? I mean, ease off some steam. We were talking about... Stop it, Daddy. Stop it. Does he have to know everything we discuss? Come on. Son, she has a point. Go. 
Get away from here. <laughs> and you were saying what? Is that you tell me, tell me, no, stop from the part where you're telling me about. If you're accusing me of something here, why don't you just say it? Dad, if you want a playmate, I suggest you get one of your own. Is this how you thank me? For staying home all week? And pulling your wife out of depression? I would have done it myself without your help. I didn't ask for your help anyways. Well, you were doing a terrible job, so I stepped in. Can't you see how happy she is now? Dad, let me manage my affairs myself. I don't want you meddling in the affairs of me or my wife. Do you understand me? Just let me manage my own affairs. Why are you asking? Because I need to talk to you now. Okay, go. I'll come later on. I need to talk to you now. Let's go. Ah, ah. So you still don't believe what I'm saying? The question is, did you hear yourself? Look at you. Young, tall and very handsome. You are the kind that every girl would die for. Your father is twice her age. Who could she be doing with him? We should be happy they are getting along. I know what I've seen. I know something is happening between them and they are deceiving me. They stare at each other with naked lust even whilst I'm right there. As if I'm not, I, I don't even exist. I feel like an intruder in the house. That girl is butchering me to death, man. And it's not just any normal butchering, like blood carnage. <laughs> if you feel this bad about it, why don't you just move to the new house? I, I, I thought of that, but um, I thought she was a little bit shaken by the miscarriage. So I wanted to stabilize things a bit before moving out. But now I don't have any choice. Well, I'm here to buy new furniture for my new house. I hear they have the best furniture in town. And as a matter of fact, it's very, very affordable. A lot of people come here to buy their furniture. And, and it's good quality as well, you know? Yeah. Oh, there you are, darling. You should be ashamed of yourself for forgetting today was my birthday. Your daddy remembered and took me shopping. Oh, no, no, no. I, I didn't forget. You see, I was waiting for you to come so that we move into the new house. I think it's the best gift for you to commemorate your birthday. New house? Well, honey, I don't think I can handle moving to a new house right now, you know? I need some time. Time for what? Yeah, take it away. You know, this place just gives me so much joy. A change of environment would just break my mood. So what if I insist? Truthfully, I'm not happy here anymore. Why, son? Why? Dad, I'm a married man. And I'm still living in my father's house with my wife. What's that? I am your wife, not your slave. And I can choose what I want or don't want. She wants more time. Oblige the young bride. She's my wife. And whatever I tell her to do, she will do it. Go upstairs right now. Get your things. We are moving out of this house. So, you think she's right? You shouldn't. Excuse me, father. She's my wife. You cannot tell me how to talk to her or how not to talk to her. I choose the way I talk to her. You are wrong, son. Not in my house. You are under my roof and as so far as you are here, you will talk to her with respect. Excuse me, I don't want to move. I can't live under one roof this time. You'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Crazy. Huh? It's you didn't return the whole night. Perhaps you've forgotten you're a married man. Going out on a bender with the boys should belong in the past. I didn't go out to hang out with the boys. I ran away from you. And both of you are at it again, huh? You still cannot let her be, can you? I see you are you are, you are still drunk. No. No, that 
but you see, you've, you, you've proved and you've made your point. Yes, you're still attractive. And I understand the kind of turbulence midlife crisis can heap on a man, but please, please, in the name of God, just leave my wife alone and go and hunt for your own woman. Seriously, I'm officially worried about your mental health too. You need help. Stop patronizing me like I'm a retarded child. Enough. Oh, enough, huh? All I'm asking is for him to leave you alone. There's no way he's going to take you away from me unless he kills me first. Yes. You're not making any sense, Frank. Get a grip of yourself or leave. Just stop talking that nonsense and get your things and let's go before I start getting rough. Sometimes behave a little immature. That's the exact word I'm looking for. Immature. You know, I am so glad that someone around here understands what I'm going through. I sometimes wish I was married. <sighs> hey, is this for you? You have no respect. Is that where you're supposed to sit? Who told you that you could? Come on. Go and sit here. I didn't serve it. I cook this special delicacy just for you. You should taste the chicken first. It's really, really good. <laughs> oh, there you are, darling. You should be ashamed of yourself for forgetting today was my birthday. Your daddy remembered it took me shopping. She wants more time. Open the young bride. Excuse me, father. She's my wife. You cannot tell me how to talk to her or how not to talk to her. I choose the way I talk to her. You are wrong, son. Not in my house. You are under my roof and as so far as you are here, you will talk to her with respect. <laughs> Right now, go get your things. You are leaving right this minute. Oh, yeah, on that. I like it here. I have to give some bacon. I want to move it more. And you? Why don't you give it a rest, son? Oh, shut your rotten mouth, you rotten old fool. You insult me? Yes. You're nothing but a shameless, pathetic bag of dirt. If I'm all that, why are you insecure of me? You, you know what? Just, just, just stop it, stop it, stop it. No, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, you! Even a female dog on heat has more respect than you. Oh, then why are you still married to me? Well, because sometimes love is a real kiss, and I regret the day I fell in love with you. Oh, then why don't you just point me? Because I'll be so, so bad. You are never getting away from me. You are mine forever. Nothing is going to separate us, not even this filthy animal here. Hey, what? What? Bring it on. What do you have in mind? Bring it on! Please, please, please put the gun away. There's no need to get violent here, okay? Just, just, just put it away, please. Oh, shut up! You both wanted this thing to turn ugly, huh? So be it. No. No, you know what? Okay, Frank, listen. I am going to pack my things right now. You leave right now. Look at me. Look at me go and bring my bag. She is not going anywhere. This is her house. She's staying as long as she desires. 
I'll go. I'll go. I'll You're go. not going. I'll, I'll... Please. It is true what he said. There is no greater fury on earth like the wrath of a woman in Jordan. Frank couldn't handle the hell of prison after living all his life in lavish luxury. He was quickly forced against his will to become the homosexual partner of the prison top dog, a huge gorilla of a man called Okobi. He couldn't take the disgraceful humiliation anymore, so in his attempt to be transferred to a lesser security prison, he confessed to the authorities about my innocence, that he and his father set me up. He wasn't transferred into a lesser prison, but it played well in my case. Frank killed himself four weeks into his sentence, and it was a combination of good and bad news for Ruth. Well, if you ask me, my dear, I think both father and son got what they deserve, and you are going to get everything you deserve. Here we go. Okay, this is our area of interest. In case of my untimely passing, I declare that all my properties, including the company, all real estates and physical cash should go to my two children, Frank and Elizabeth Edogo. To be shared between them, 70% going to Frank, your husband, and 30 to Elizabeth. And you, my dear, will get everything that belongs to your husband, the whole 70%. And as your lawyer, I would advise that I watch over the cash for you so you don't get caught by another shyster, okay? You are rich, Ruth. We are rich! What a sweet revenge. Thank you, Father. Now, all you have to do is to grease the palm of the chief police and Ray will be released. Then you guys will get married. You hit the jackpot. You did it, girl. Cheer up. Do you think you can walk into this family and destroy eventually everything? Don't think you'll succeed because I, Lizzie, am going to kill you myself. I want all of you out of this house now. She cried because in her plan, she never wished that anybody should die. But she became stinking rich as a result 